St George's, Miss Drayton here. Tuesday the 12th of May marks the 200th birthday of Florence Nightingale. I would like to tell you a little bit about her. Florence Nightingale was born on the 12th of May 1820. She was named after the city of Florence in Italy where she was born. She had an older sister called Parthenope. The Nightingale family were very rich. They lived in a large house in England called Emberley Park and had many servants. Parthenope and Florence were educated at home, first by a governess and then by their father. Florence was very clever and was especially good at math. From a young age, Florence wanted to be a nurse, but at this time, rich women were expected to marry a rich husband and run a household. Florence was determined, so she went against the wishes of her parents and refused to marry even though she had offers. Eventually, Florence's parents realised she would not forget her dream of being a nurse, so her mother gave Florence her blessing. Florence travelled to Germany in 1851 to train as a nurse for three months. When she returned home, she became the head nurse at a hospital in Harley Street, London. This was the start of her incredible nursing career. A few years after Florence had trained to be a nurse, in 1853 Britain went to war with Russia. This was called the Crimean War as the fighting took place in the Crimea in Eastern Europe. Florence read about the war in the newspaper. Florence wanted to help and she was given the opportunity when Sidney Herbert, the Secretary of State for War, who knew her, decided that she was just the kind of person that was needed in the Crimea to help care for the sick and wounded soldiers. He asked her if she would like to take a team of nurses out there and she immediately agreed. Florence and 38 other nurses set off for the hospital in Scutari, Turkey, on the 21st of October 1854. The conditions in the hospital were worse than Florence could have imagined. There were soldiers lying on dirty floors, still wearing their filthy clothes. There were not enough blankets for them all, and there were insects everywhere. Many historians say Florence Nightingale started making changes to the hospital and the way the wounded soldiers were treated. They also say she knew that it was important to keep everything as clean as possible. As well as having cleaner wards and better living conditions, the soldiers loved having someone who took care of them. The image of the lady with the lamp became very famous. By the time Florence Nightingale returned home from the hospital in Scutari, there had been lots of newspaper reports about her. The British public became fascinated with Florence Nightingale and her work. They loved the way she helped and cared for the soldiers. No one had ever done anything like this before and they admired her for it. When she returned home, she was very famous thanks to all the newspaper articles that were written about her. Florence Nightingale continued her work when she returned home. In 1860, she established the Nightingale Training School for Nurses at St Thomas's Hospital in London. This was the first official training school for nurses and was the founding of modern nursing. This photo shows Florence Nightingale with some of her nursing students at St Thomas's Hospital. Also in 1860, she published a book called Notes on Nursing, which is still in print today. This book described Florence's ideas about keeping hospitals clean and hygienic, as well as discussing what kind of food patients should be given, how to manage hospitals and what kind of beds and bedding should be used. This book was very important in developing the techniques doctors and nurses still use today. All of the work Florence did to improve the standard of nursing and the way nurses were trained was recognised in 1883. She was awarded the Royal Red Cross by Queen Victoria. In 1907 she was also awarded the Order of Merit. And in 1908 she was awarded the Honorary Freedom of the City of London. 
Florence Nightingale died at her home on the 13th of August 1910 at the age of 90. She was one of the most famous women in Britain and continues to be remembered today for her contributions to nursing. Her picture was even included on a £10 note from 1975 to 1992. Every year on her birthday, the 12th of May, nurses around the world celebrate World Nurses Day in her memory. This year, it also marks her 200th birthday. As part of the fight against COVID-19 this year, some critical care temporary hospitals were set up by NHS England. Each one was to be called NHS Nightingale, named after Florence Nightingale. NHS Nightingale Hospital Birmingham was opened on the 16th of April 2020. Thank you for listening. I hope you found that interesting. I certainly think she's quite an interesting woman. Perhaps you would like to do a bit more learning about her, or the Crimean War, or about nursing. So look out for some of the work and activities that your teachers will post on the online learning platform. I look forward to seeing them. Thank you.